Welcome Graphics Fairy family. I'm Ingrid Carlson from Care Titty and today I'm here to share with you my design team member project for the Graphics Fairy. And so I used five kits total, but the star of the kit was the wedding ephemera kit. I wanted to make sure that what I made had a lot of layering in it, a lot of dainty, beautiful pieces, as well as lots and lots of layers, lots of textures with different fabrics and um, hopefully you like it as much as I did. Um, this is the front of the first thing that I made. It's kind of like a little, I don't know, like a little pouch, I guess, making a, using a manila folder. And I have some iridescent uh, sequins as well as look how cute this little bulb pin is with the um, sequins and the seed beads. And then on the back, um, it's Tess and Parker and they are just excited about their coming nuptials and on the inside i have this little notebook to write down any thoughts and beautiful things that you've seen uh, quotes bible verses anything like that i added more of the bling another little bulb with the sequins um, this fabric that was distressed and inside the book, I've used my coffee dyed papers that I've made and they came out so good. They look like geodes, don't they? Anyways, I layered some ephemera in here that you can just take out or you can leave in here and that goes with all the pieces. You can move them around. I also made this little pocket and this comes in in the premium site. This pocket is there and it comes with three pieces, the back piece, the front like book plate and then something to go inside. I switched it up and I built my own to go inside because I found this beautiful flower and I thought it needed to be the star somewhere. And so this is like a little journaling card. And then here I added a uh, dreamer, but it's really nice that it comes already. And so you don't have to think too much about it. You can just create something beautiful and go. On this page, I layered a little booklet that I made using some coffee dyed book page and then another beautiful cluster with another beautiful flower. And I've attached it all with these really pretty um, paper clips that you can, like I said, take out or use as is. For our second part, and it's definitely the star of our show, it's a um, manila, file folder that I made like a little booklet and isn't she beautiful the bride is beautiful too <laughs> and then here's Tess and Parker's initials here on this vintage button this little bead with the little um I don't know little sequins inside and then all that gold I love the way that this came out I hope that you guys enjoy it and then on the inside is our journal. So the front of the journal, I used layers of corrugated cardboard that are distressed. I have lots of ribbons on here and that's why I did not put a closure on it because I felt like we had gone overboard with the, with the ribbons. I layered a lot of pieces, like I said. Um, this tag is one of my favorite pieces that I created. It was so dainty and sweet and I just thought it would be just a perfect touch and I wanted it to be one of the first things that you see. And then you can just um, add journaling or anything in here. Here is another cluster page with more of that sparkle. This was actually one of the first pieces that I made. And so I printed this on just um, like drawing paper that like you can get for kids and look how much layering and how sweet that is. The next page is a pocket and I layered this book page, more of that coffee dyed paper. And this one comes with two little tags, one that is a little journaling spot well, actually, they're both little journaling spots that you can use. I think that they're so pretty. I would have loved this on my wedding day. Here she is, and I just added a date 
that I came up with. And another one of these pockets here, and I wrote a memories with another little bulb pin. This is really cute too. Like, I don't think that that's her, but she looks close enough. And so we're gonna say that that's her at her bridal shower. Here's a little vintage button, and I have a little tuck spot here. Another little cluster, and this all comes apart. So you can use this as a journaling spot. And then this is another, I, I can't remember what this is called, like a pillow um, envelope and I just decorated it up and it comes already ready. So all you have to do is um, put, cut it out, print it, cut it out and put it together. And I love the page underneath with the book paper and came out so pretty. I found the prettiest images. This is probably my favorite spread. This is uh, Tess and, and um, Parker at their wedding and here, just all this layering, stitching, and then this gatefold is inside here. And when you open it up, it's more spots for you to add your journaling. Um, also, you can add photos or any extra ephemera in there. This gate was so pretty, um, I had printed it and then I cut out the windows and then I layered another Graphics Fairy paper in the background that is a floral. And I thought that that looked really pretty. This opens up and you have more spots for journaling and this sweet um, pocket here with one of her photos. And it's got lots of layering and then it says Paris 1889. And then more paper that I distressed and printed on copy paper. On this side, we have this beautiful tag. It's too pretty. And this just says memories. Here's a little um, envelope that you can also find on the premium site. It's already ready to just be printed and cut out. And I love this page because the green mimics the green on this page and just brings the whole look together. And I think it's so sweet and it's got this vintage button. I also made this little doily and it's using uh, doilies and book pages and then um, coffee stained papers and you can use it somewhere else or you can leave it in here. It almost didn't make it. I actually kind of forgot about it when I was putting the album together. I saw it and said it has to go in here. On this page we have a pocket with some really pretty um, seam binding and more layers. This is also, um, over here I had used modeling paste and used that stencil on it and then I have some here that you can barely see. Some space for journaling with this little sweet cluster. And then I think this might be one of my favorite pages too. I made this little um, booklet using two tags and it's stitched on with this, this fabric and it's got a little pearl on it. And this one has to be definitely one of my favorites. Look at it, it's got some journaling and it's so little and dainty and cute and I love it. And it's layered on um, some more doilies, some more sparkle, and then this is on parchment paper. And that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this journal and that it sparked some creativity for you to go. Now check out the Graphics Fairy Premium site and get started.